ladies and gentlemen, this is real. These are the absolutely best mogul skiers in the world. Yes, it's real. Anthony Benna just became our brand new single moguls world champion. His coach is in tears. Friends, teammates, and himself can't believe their eyes as the men's competition saw a shocking outcome. Anthony Benna outlasted the typically unbeatable 2013 world champion and World Cup title holder, Mikael Kingsbury. Crazy. I missed all my best uh, competition, the Olympic Games, World Championship, and now I take the first place today in World Championships. It's just uh, crazy. Uh, I'm working hard this summer for this result, and now uh, I take the first place. Uh, it's amazing for me. Another bronze medal after Sochi 2014 for Alexander Zmyslaev from Russia. No back-to-back -back gold medal for the Canadian King of Moguls, who suffered from an uncharacteristic mistake. After dominating the field all day as always, Kingsbury upset and disappointment for only the silver charged him like fire on gasoline for the dual moguls competition of the day after. The battles for ladies' gold came down to a face-off between Justine dufour le Point and defending world champion Hannah Kearney, as it was a Canadian's Olympic champion to prevail over the U.S. athlete. Title, it's incredible for me. I, it, it was a big dream, and doing it today, it's it feels so good. <laughs> In the super final, Justine Dufour Le Point skied more cleanly and more quickly than did Kearney. And when everything was tallied up, Justine's 87.25 points to Kearney's score convincingly earned the Canadian the gold. Shocking news on the day was finding Olympic silver medalist Chloe dufour le Point only in 32nd place, out of the finals after one rare mistake in the morning's qualifications. Brittany Cox continued what had so far been a magical ski and snowboard world championships for the Australian team, taking the bronze medal and knocking Maxime dufour le Point down to fourth place. After her defeat in the super final, Hannah Kearney had to be happy with her seventh medal in five World Championships participations, a silver medal, which just like in the case of Mikhail Kingsbury, would only make her even more aggressive and concentrated on grabbing the gold in the following event. I feel a little disappointed right now, um, only because I really had my heart set on winning, but I'm happy about skiing my best run at the last run of the day. I need to be a little bit faster and maybe clean up my bottom landing, but I get to compete tomorrow, um, and that will be the plan. Congratulations to Justine. She she beat me and uh, it doesn't feel good. <laughs> okay. 